So hello guys, Crash Crasher 96 here. So today I uh, just came up with a video a video to make a story of Cuphead. So I was just like sleeping one day and I was just like thinking about something. Then like one day it just like came and I was like, wait, maybe I should just make like a, the story of Cuphead and how it became the video game. So uh, here you have it, the story of Cuphead by Crash Crasher 96. 1988. Chad and Jared Mulder and Hoyer wanted to make video games since they were kids, but the only problem was that Chad and Jared didn't know how to make or design their own characters. They also liked Mickey Mouse and the Silly Symphonies by, made by Walt Disney. Uh, take a look at this. When I see animation like this, I think of Cuphead. This is probably what also inspired them to make the game Cuphead's art style, the 1930s cartoons. Also, did you know that Studio MDHR um, stands for Studio Molden Hoyer? Yeah, you're probably wondering why, because the people who made it, Chad and Jared, the last name's Molden Hoyer. Anyways. 2010. In 2010, the brothers saw a new trend happening in the game industry. Independent games like Super Meat Boy were breaking out. High quality games made by small teams were selling well not on only on PCs, but on consoles. This put the idea of making a game back into their heads. So around the end of 2012, the boys started kicking around ideas. They dabbled with themes like a game based on school with each level's art style representing a different grade. And, the, and they, along with the, a, thir a third team, member who ended up leaving and ended up on a run and gun game with the 1930s cartoon setting. 2013. In 2013, as teams were becoming more real, the team needed a main character to replace the little weird green guy with the hat they'd been using as a placeholder, according to Jared. So they brainstormed lots of 30, 30s themed concepts and came up with Cuphead as a character. In October 2013, uh, Studio MDHR posted its teaser trailer on YouTube, hoping to drum up some attention. The art, art, the art style stood out to those who saw it, but given the team's low profile, few people had that chance. A couple, a couple of months later, the game made its way to, to a post on the message board NeoGAF. Seeing it there, Microsoft contacted Studio MDHR on Christmas Eve, which also happened to be a little over a week before the birth of Chad's daughter. At this point, Studio MDHR still consisted of three people. Microsoft wanted to see the game appear on Xbox. So you're probably wondering who the shrimp is, the green guy. So the green guy is, yes, this guy is looking for, a, yeah, this guy. 2014. For many players, their first exposure to Cuphead came as part of a short clip Microsoft included in its 2014 E3 press conference, showing a variety of independent games coming to Xbox One. The clip lasted only about four seconds, yet put the game in front of millions of people. Even if they didn't quite know what they were looking at, Chad and Jared didn't attend that show. Chad remembers watching the press conference from home, but the game became one of those things people talked about in the convention center halls. Based, based simply simply on the quality of its art, suddenly Studio MDHR had a fan base. 2015. As the game started to get bigger, the team kept foot pushing forward. In early 2015, Microsoft invited them to participate in a press event it was holding a two, at 2015 Game Developers Conference, and following that, the buzz kept building. 2016. 2016 was the year Studio MDHR stayed out of the public eye and churned it through work on Cuphead, adding more bosses to the game and growing the team to 14 people. According to Chad and Jared, this was the last step in a gradual growing process for the studio. Over the course of the de development, the game kept popping its head up, getting more attention and looking like it might sell better as a result. And often when that happened, the team cautiously hired small numbers of additional staff to increase the game's scope. 2017 
Keeping with the tradition of making news at E3, at the 2017 show Studio, MDA, Studio MDHR and Microsoft announced Cuphead's release day, September 29, 2017. The team had three months left to finish the game. Chad and Jared said, say they ran into a bad crunch for the last four or five months of development. Jared says he hit a personal record for for number of hours worked in a row at 33 or 34. And work on the game continued until about five days before release. At which point the team the team had to tie up and lose tie up loose ends like putting polish, polishing off the Steam trading cards and editing the launch trailer. For the game's release, Microsoft and Studio MDHR put together a launch event in Los Angeles with staff flying in to celebrate, and Jared points out that the team even had to do some minor editing on the plane to fix some Steam background image, image errors that came up at the last minute. Facts. Two facts about Cuphead is Cuphead went on to be one of the best reviewed and best selling games of 2017. And when Cuphead was released, it was one of the hardest games in the world, in my opinion. And it's still one of the hardest games in the world. Uh, yeah, so, conclusion. If you like videos like this and want me to keep creating them, click the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.